26. 26. I don't know how I do it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and in today's video, I have another book haul for you. Well, here we are again. And I'm so sorry. Yes, it's my November book haul. I managed to accumulate 26, 26 new books. Mm -hmm. That's almost a book a day, but, but in all fairness, in all fairness, I was sick for like two weeks of November. So I did a lot of watching and I did a lot of buying. Cause you know what wasn't sick? My pointer finger. Uh, confirm purchase that that's it was not sick that's what I did so <laughs> I have 26 books to share with you I will have them linked down below as always because some of them I may not know what they're fully about but you know that's okay I know the genre and that's more than I can say sometimes about other videos so most of these are romances I do have like three or four that are thrillers so when I get to them I'll let you know but we're gonna start off with like okay so you see this book yes this book is The Christmas Blanket by Candy Steiner but what makes this book so special isn't the fact that it's the special edition or discreet cover or whatever no 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 no, no. Mm -mm. it's the note that was inside because in the note it says Surprise, Merry Christmas from Candy Steiner. Me. This, it came from her. I was so excited. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! So excited. I got this in the middle of my plague, whatever it was that I had. And it came in the mail and I opened it and it's so tiny. And it's just a little Christmas novella, but it was from her, so I'm going to cherish it forever. And I do know this is like a second chance romance between two people who had divorced and they come together for Christmas. I I'm assuming it's for Christmas and it's going to be a great time and it's short and sweet and just what I need for the Christmas season. But the fact that it was from her, but just made it 10 times better. So I will be read. I already did my TBR and I forgot that I had this. So... I'm probably still gonna read it anyway because you know me I don't stick to my TBRs anyway okay the next book I ended up I read this on Kindle but I wanted to buy it because I someone said that it's not gonna be able to buy them anymore or get this one so I was like I need to get it for my collection so I got Out of the Gate by Elsie Silver which is like 1.5 in her series um, of Gold Rush Ranch and this is just like the little novella and it's about oh gosh what's his name I just read this last month. I don't remember his name. I, I I remember who it is. It's Vaughn's grandfather from the first book. So you're kind of learning like how Vaughn's grandparents got together. So this is set, I think, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe 70s or 60s. I don't know. He talks about he's been to war and he comes back and but I liked it. It was short but it was still spicy and hit the spot and Elsie Silver can do no wrong. Like I've read two of her books now and I highly enjoy both of them, but I just, I wanted to get this one so I could have it with the whole collection of the other books. So if this is not going out of print, then I bought it anyway, but that's beside the point. And then this is one of the thrillers. Well, the next three are thrillers. So I have we Are All the Same in the Dark by Julia Heberlin. Heberlin? I'm not sure how you say that. But the reason I got this was because I was on Twitter and a book publishing company that I follow was like, ask us for recommendations. So I, I had asked them for recommendations based on Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell because I think I had just read that one at the time. And they said this one, that it was sort of like it. All I know, it's about missing girls or missing people. But that's okay. I prefer to go in 
not really knowing too much about my thrillers because I feel like it can be a little spoilery. So we'll see. I haven't read anything by this author, so we'll see if I enjoy it. And then I ended up getting The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I just, I saw Gabby Reads really enjoy this, so I went ahead and got it. And I don't know what it's too much about other than she's a housemaid and it's a thriller. So it's all good. It's, like I said, we don't need to know too much. And then I got Jennifer McMahon, The Children on the Hill. And I think this is like, has a little bit of like cult vibes. I think. I'm not too sure. I could be completely wrong and I probably am. We all know how I am with my book synopsis. But I think it has to do with something like that. I would look on the back. I really would, but I can't read right now because my glasses. So we're just going to assume that I know what I'm talking about. It's, it's fine. And then on to the whole lot of romances that I have here. Um, I have All the Feels by Olivia Dade. And this is book two in, I don't know if it's a series, but Spoiler Alert was the first book. And I haven't read Spoiler Alert, but now I have books one and two. It's just how I go. It's just how I roll. I need all the books apparently before I even start reading the series, but I know this has to revolve around a TV show and it's like a Game of Thrones-esque TV show and we have a curvy heroine and a ruggedly handsome hero apparently. <laughs> Aren't they always? Pretty much. But I'm not too sure what this one's about, but it's fine because I'll just read it and have a good time because that's all I'm looking for. The next one is The Invitation by Vi Keeland and the cover. Oh, I wish it was matte because this cover is stunning. There we go. This is about our heroine who her ex-roommate left her with like half the rent, didn't pay anything. And she wants to try to get like almost like revenge, but not really. Um, a wedding invitation comes to the apartment she decides, well, hey, my ex-roommate owes me, so I'm going to crash the wedding. She meets one of the groomsmen, and then he soon finds out that she is not who she said she was. And as she's running out of the wedding, she realizes she left her cell phone behind, and he has to give it back to her. I think that's it, right? Yes. She left her cell phone behind, so he's got to, I guess, give it back to her. And he, you know what's going to happen. I haven't read a by Keelan. So I know she writes a lot with Penelope Ward, but I haven't read one just by herself. So it'll be interesting, but I just love the cover. I just think the cover, like the pink and, and the guy, <clears throat> more so the guy than the pink, but that's besides the point. The next book I have already read, but I just wanted to buy it because it's going out of print. Everything's going out of print. Um, and that is Praise by Sarah Kate. I read this back in August, September, July. I don't know, but it's signed and I love it. And it says good girl. And that's, I love it. Uh, but for, you, for those of you who don't know, this is a taboo romance between our heroine and her ex-boyfriend's father so it's also like an age gap but daddy emerson right there uh if you haven't read it go ahead because it's it's been like everywhere this year the series so just like do yourself a favor read it it's on kindle so if you have a kindle read it uh but i really enjoyed it i haven't continued with the series yet but i'm going to i just need to find the time eventually i'll get there I then have Crowned by Hate by Ammo Jones, which I think is like the first book in like a duet of this. And I can't remember what the second book's called, but I just have the cover. Okay, so I was like, like scrolling through Pango books as I do. And I a lot of these were from Pango because I was just like, you know, scrolling through my life. And I saw this and I'm like, well, I haven't read anything by Ammo Jones but I would like to, and instead of like getting like a huge book that I might not enjoy, let's get like a smaller book. So this is, you know, kind of small and I'll see if I enjoy her writing and kind of go from there. But I don't know. I, is it royalty? Is it like a marriage? I don't know. 
but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to read it for the time. Okay, short time, long time, good time. It's what I'm aiming for, the good time. I then have All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox, and I, I didn't even read Maggie Knox's Christmas book last year. I own it. I have it. It was a book of the month, but I did not read it. And now I have our second one. And all I know, it's reality TV based, I think. Then it looks cowboyish. She's got a cowboy hat. So I'm just making assumptions. But we'll see if I even get to it. If I don't, it's fine. But if not, I have it for next year or just any time of the year when I'm feeling very festive and would like to read a Christmas book. But it matches my shirt. So, I mean, I have that going for me. The next book is Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Look, I, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> It's really sad at this point. I just don't know. We know! But I have read Elle Kennedy before. I have read her, the first two in the Off Campus series. So I enjoy her writing. So hopefully I would, you know, enjoy this one as well. But we'll see. We'll see if I enjoy it. I should. I, I mean, I, I've heard like mixed things, but you know, we'll give it a shot anyway. The next book that I have is Maybe We Will by Melissa Foster, which is book one in the Silver Harbor like trilogy. So now I have all of them. Look, I have been a Melissa Foster fool this year and I love her writing. I love her spiciness. I, if you haven't read her, like she's, she's oof, the backlog is insane. But like, st just like start with, what should you start with? Maybe I should do like a deep dive and then you can like know where to start because she's got a lot of series and like they're interconnected because they're all around like a town, but there's different ones. You know, right now I'm reading uh, her motorcycle club one. So there's just like, there's a lot, but like her writing's so good and like her men, just give it a chance. Like I just pick a series and start it. I think you would have a good time with any of them. But I, and I can't tell you what this is about because I just wanted her series. So I have all three of the books now. So now I can read them, but I really can't tell you what this one's about other than it's at the beach. Okay, the next two books are from Natasha Madison and I have Mine to Have and Mine to Hold. Okay. These are purely, like, I don't know if they're, like, really good or not, but the covers are stunning, and that's pretty much why I wanted to buy them. There's, like, I think three more in the series, or two more, and they're gorgeous, and I want them, so I started getting them. But I know this is the Southern Wedding series, so just the covers are gorgeous. Small town, you had me, you had me at the covers, that's, that's pretty much it. And then I ended up getting Twisted Lies by Anna Huang, and this is the last book in her Twisted series. And I ended up, okay, I I, I got this, and then I was like, hey, um, because it's from, I got the published, traditionally published version, so this is from Bloom, and I don't know if it's going to match my other ones that were indie, and they're back there. And I'm really hoping, and I don't think it is, I think it's a little smaller, so we're just going to have to just gonna have to go with it but I just the discreet covers of these books I think are so pretty but I did get this so I have to finish I haven't even read books two three or four yet so we'll we'll get there eventually but I just wanted all of them because I enjoyed the first one so much I'm like I'm definitely gonna enjoy the rest of them so I just went ahead and I got it I then got two books at my local BAM I got four aunties and a wedding which is just a cozy mystery. So I did have another thriller, okay? It was like, not, it's not, it's a cozy mystery. But this is from the author who did um, Dial A for Aunties, and I think this is the second book. So I guess she's getting married. I don't know. Couldn't even tell you what it's about, but I was like, well, it was on sale, so I'm just gonna pick it up. <laughs> because that's just what I do. That's just what I do. And then this one was what I was really like going for. I wanted There's Something About Mary from Cody Hall because I read the first book in the series last year, which was Nick and Noel's 
Christmas playlist and really enjoyed it. And I'm pretty sure Mary, Mary is Nick's sister. I'm pretty sure. But they own like a Christmas tree farm. And I don't know what this one is. I know, oh, the book is coming undone. What? Rude. Ooh, what is that? But I don't know if it's like fake dating or like enemies to lovers or whatever. But just the cover alone would have made me buy it because it's pink and Christmas. And for some reason, like pink and Christmas just goes together for me. Like all the pretty pink Christmas stuff. Come on. I then got Tattered Stars by Catherine Cowles. I completely forgot I got this book. It's signed, isn't it? Yes, it was. I completely just forgot I got this book. This is book one in the Tattered and Torn series. And I was like, I need to buy this book, but I already have it. <laughs> huh, okay. So this is the first, <laughs> don't mind me and my epiphany that I'm having. This girl is delusional. From Catherine Cowles, the first book in her Tattered and Torn series, small town, kind of suspenseful. Um, I do know the first, I do know what this book's about. So like props to me, but when she was younger, her family kind of like ran, not like a cult, but kind of, I guess kind of like a cult. And her dad ended up kidnapping a girl from town and she found out, went to the cops and, you know, eventually he, I guess, got in trouble. She went to live with her sister. But the girl that was kidnapped was the hero's sister. So there's going to be some animosity there and I'm here for it. So look, this series has been everywhere on booktube, everywhere. And I just keep putting it off. So eventually I'm going to get to it. But again, at the same time, I just keep putting it off and I don't know why. I then got myself Medicine Man by Saffron A. Kent, which I think this is like a special edition cover. Um, I don't know too much about this, but I've heard things that made me intrigued. So this woman ends up like falling for her therapist, I think, which in all honesty, I'm just curious to see how this goes because being a therapist, it's like, okay, did you do your research? Like, you know, cause like there are, there's transference, there's counter transference and that those things happen. So I, I'm assuming it's not going to be very ethical, <laughs> but that's just because you can't get with your client. That's just not how it works. So I'm assuming if this is the way that the book's going to go, it's not going to be from like an ethical standpoint, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm just excited to, to see what it's about. I've read another one of her books before and I enjoyed it. So I was like, I'm going to give this a shot purely because I just want to know how she's going to take the story based on his profession and who she is to him. But also just because I, I did, I liked her writing. I then got two more books in the Mile High Club series that I needed. So now I have Casanova and The Takeover. I don't quite sure. I think this guy in this one, he's taking over the business that she owns or something like that. And the Casanova, I couldn't tell you. But I do own the stopover and then there's one more that just came out. So then I'll have them all and then I can just binge them all if I'd like. But I know each book is about a different brother and that's really all I know. And that's, that's all I really need to know. It's, it's fine. And then I ended up getting The Words by Ashley Jade and this book is huge for one. Um, so I may have to audiobook that one because I do have the audiobook but this is like a second chance enemies to lovers rock star romance so to speak um from what I what I hear I'm just going by bits of what I hear and in this we have the main guy who is like a rock star now but in before the past, thanks, couldn't think of the word. In the past, him and the heroine went to school together and they kind of had a thing and then something happens and they don't like each other anymore. And then years go by and he kind of needs like a watcher, like a watch, like a babysitter because like, I guess he's being too rowdy. I don't know what's the word, rebellious maybe. So she has to become like his watcher and I don't know if it's like a watcher, but like, you know, watcher you know and so 
I guess we'll find out what happens, but it's a huge book. So that's always fun for me. I then got myself Our Way by T.L. Swan. Another big one. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I do know what I was thinking. I, I was thinking. I was entranced by the abs. That's what I was thinking. Um, I was like, yes, please. Uh, I, I don't know what this is about. Don't know. Don't care. I Look, sometimes I'm a cover buyer. And this is one of those times. The next book is Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. I found this on Pango Books because the girl had accidentally bought two and she's like, I need to sell this one. And I'm like, I will take it. Uh, this is a dark romance. Uh, if you saw my TBR for this month, you saw that I was talking about this and I just needed to haul it. So now here it is. But it is about two people who are kidnapped and have to stick together to survive. And in the midst of that, end up kind of falling for each other. But the thing is, is that the guy is supposed to be marrying the girl's sister. And when they come back into like, I don't want to say real world, but you know, like society and they have to learn how to navigate that. And they only have each other to really turn to. So should be interesting. It should be, I don't want to say interesting because it's probably going to be like, actually like very like heart wrenching, <laughs> but I'm here for it. And Little known fact, I don't know if you know this, but this is the author in her husband's hands. They did the modeling for that. I just found that interesting. And then for the book of the month picks, these are my last two books. Please don't fall because I will cry. The first book is The Last Party by Claire McIntosh. It says, at midnight, one of them is dead. By morning, all of them are suspects. So could I, it was a thriller and I'm like, it's looks interesting not that it sounds interesting because I didn't really know but I guess it's more like a whodunit and I like those type of books so I was like why not and then the last book is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan so I am jumping on the Kennedy Ryan bandwagon and I'm going to try this out this is a second chance romance based upon two people who are divorced and come back together but honestly I have not heard a single bad thing about this not a thing so it is hyped it's there it's gonna be hopefully a good time I think so I haven't read anything by Kennedy Ryan but we're just gonna go we're gonna see and plus I just the cover it's beautiful I do prefer a matte cover well really wish book of the month would do matte but just the color scheme is gorgeous but that is all those are the 26 okay that's not even all the books that I bought in November that's just what I have so you'll have to come back for my December book haul to see what books I have coming this week because you know it's Christmas and I wanted to treat myself so I bought myself more books it's fine it's fine I am just keeping the economy in business but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new and would like to join the family I would love to have you on my social media it's linked down below as always my goodreads and my instagram if you would like to stay more up to date day to day with what I'm reading but I will see you all in the next one bye guys oh no I'm gonna take a picture and you're in it shut my door thank you okay that'll work the next book is The Invitation by, by what? Oh, <coughs> they're loud downstairs. It just travels. It's because like that's all open.